Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a kid blog account that is connected to the BCPS district so that you can receive free full access to all of kid blog. What I'm viewing right now is the joining directions for the BCPS district with kid blog um, that was found from the BCPS intranet. What I have found is that it is easiest and best to create your kid blog account and immediately link it to BCPS the BCPS district, rather than taking an existing account and trying to join the BCPS district. In my case, it did not work to join the district after already having an account created. So by following the directions, um, we're going to follow the no directions and create a new account. Um, we're going to click on the link that is provided. And once the link takes us to the kid blog page, we are going to copy and paste the BCPS, BCPS join code. And here you have a teacher sign up. Now it's your job to um, use your own name, password, and email, preferably your BCPS um, credentials. Um, I already have an account, so I'm going to create an account using um, a personal email that I've had since I was younger. Put in my name. I'm going to type in just a sample password. And as my email, you could see I have a, quite a few. I'm going to use... Um, a childhood email address. Now it gives you the option to save your password. I always choose yes, um, just for ease. And here you have it. You are officially um, into KidBlog. This up here where it has the K says that you are a premium user, meaning you are in fact um, in a free having free access to KidBlog. Now from here, we want to create a new class. But if you just click on create a new class, it's gonna ask you to verify your email address. So I will go to my email, um, click on the email from KidBlog to verify my email by clicking the link. Now we're all good, email has been successfully verified. To create a new class, you click create new class, obviously, and go ahead and name your class. So I'll name mine Mrs. Braverman's class, give a little description, fourth grade ELA, and my organization is BCPS, and create the class. Now you see you have um, a tile here where you can organize, you can um, edit this class. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to want to do is go into settings. Um, you can choose an avatar um, by clicking on edit. And I'm going to choose a crown. Use this avatar. Um, right now I have zero students, student accounts, but I will show you how to add. Um, you can change your class URL, but um, I feel Mrs. Braverman's class is probably the best URL to use. And you can add your location. Make sure to always save your changes. Um, then you can go in, you can change um, your themes and your sidebar. Um, we call the sidebar, um, the, the widgets within our sidebar are the um, blocks that come up on our sidebar, which you can edit. Um, I'm perfectly fine with my active theme, so I'm gonna keep moving on. Here's where you can add your students. Now, one way to do this is to um, just get a student join code, and I can enable this join code, and then put it up on the front board for my students to type into KidBlog when they um, open up the website. I tried this with my kids. It worked perfectly fine. However, it did take about 20 minutes to get all of my kids into KidBlog that way. A different way that you can do this is by
clicking add students and you can select how the students will log into your class. Our students will use their BCPS external password. Um, so when you click on the password option, you can again select join code or you can select manual. When you select manual, you can log or you can create your students manually um, with their display name and their temporary password. Um, it's easiest to do this as a bulk upload. So I'll click bulk upload. And it tells you exactly how to do this. It needs to be a CSV file or a plain text file. And you have one user per line, their display name with their password. Passwords must contain at least six characters, and then the students can go in and change this later. So for example, I created a Word document with two columns, student's name and sample passwords that are easy for them to go in and then change to their BCPS1 password. So I go in, I save as, and once I find where I want to save this, I need to just change the format to plain text. Enter file, name, and save. Now it's going to just, you know, ask me if this is okay. I will say yes. And there we have it. Now I'll go back to KidBlog and choose my file, which is located under documents as a kid blog text file. Upload complete. And now I have my five students added into kid blog. Um, now all these students will need to do is once I give them the link to our uh, class page, they will click login and they will use their name. They'll see their name. They'll use their password that I gave them and then it will ask them to change their password to their Next important thing to do is look at your privacy. Um, I like to keep mine for teacher, class members, um, and then sometimes I turn off connections and guests um, if we don't have any connections being made, but you will need to have this turned on if you would like parents to be able to access posts or comment on posts or would like to connect your class with another class within our school or within our district. Um, and then I do the same thing for comments. Um, I like to keep the approval required on so that I can monitor anything that um, students post. Categories, um, not as um, prevalent, but if you have an assignment that you'd like to create, um, you can create a category for it, like ELA Unit 1 Culminating Events. And then um, once you create that category, students can drop all of their posts for the culminating event right into that category so it's easy for you to navigate. Um, connections here would be where you would make a connection with another class within our district or within our school. And reports, um, once you've been using yours, clearly we have no report created, um, it will um, give you a graph of the posts created over time. Now, to go back to the dashboard, um, I'll show you what our class looks like currently. Um, it shows our members on the side with our widgets. It shows our categories. Um, and if we had connections, it would show our connections too. Right now, there's just one sample post. And in order to create a new post, you would simply create new posts. Um, students can enter a header image, enter a title. Um, they would type their response here. Um, they can change what their post looks like, their fonts, um, just like any other blog, create tags, and can select your category as well. Uh, the cool thing is that students don't have to finish in one sitting. They can um, save as a draft um, in order to review later and then publish. Um, that's it for today's uh, screencast. If anybody has any questions on how to get started with KidBlog, um, where to go from here once you've created your account, or just want me to sit through with you and help you create your account, I am 
100% open to that, please just let me know. Thanks so much.